Creating an intuitive, secure and responsive media uploader from scratch can be a super time consuming and tedious task. But thankfully, the team at Cloudinary have created a component that does all the hard work for us. Let's go through just how easy it is to upload files to Cloudinary in a Next.js application. Being able to upload files programmatically is super important because it allows you to manage or restrict the type of media content that goes on your website. And this can lead to a better user experience. Cloudinary already has a Node SDK for uploading files, which is helpful in a server-like environment. But for this video, we're going to use Next Cloudinary. This is a library that makes it super easy to deliver and upload media using Cloudinary. This library includes a lot of components for transforming and optimizing media. But for this video, we're going to focus on the Cloud Upload widget. To get started, I've already created a simple Next.js app with Next Cloudinary already installed and configured. First, we're going to import the Cloud Upload widget from Next Cloudinary, and then we're going to copy the first example from the documentation. Let's copy the code for an unsigned widget. I'll talk about the differences between signed and unsigned later on. Let's paste that in our code. Because this is a client-side component in Next.js, we need to make sure we have the use clients directive at the top of our file. The upload widget needs a value in the upload preset to work properly. So let's go to our Cloudinary account, click on settings, then click on upload. And if we scroll down, you can see the presets are over here. I'm going to use a preset I created earlier, but of course you can create your own preset. Notice over here that the signing mode needs to be unsigned. All we have to do now is to replace the default text with the name of our preset. And just like that, we have a fully functioning upload widget, which gives us many ways to upload media, including drag and drop using our camera or even getting images from Unsplash. How cool is that? For now, let's just upload a file from my computer. I'm going to select this image of my hand and click on open. Nice. And as you can see, this image is uploaded straight into my Cloudinary media library. The upload widget exposes the upload button so we can customize it to match the look and feel of our site. I'm going to give it a few Tailwind classes just to make it look a little nicer. Now, unsigned uploads are great for testing purposes, but they're not super secure and they can allow anyone to upload anything unless restricted. If you want more secure uploads, you can use the signature endpoint prop. This requires a signature from the Cloudinary servers, which we can easily get using the Node SDK. To do that, we first need to make sure the Cloudinary package has been installed and configured. Then we need to create a root handler in Next.js that will generate the signature. I've already created one here called sign-image. This is a post request that uses the Cloudinary package to create a signature using some params and our API secrets. To set our widget up to make use of it, let's get rid of the upload preset prop and let's replace it with a signature endpoint prop instead. This takes a string, which is the value of our endpoints. And that's it. We should still be able to upload images as usual. I'm going to select an image of my keyboard. And if we go back to our Cloudinary media library, we can see that this keyboard image has uploaded correctly. Of course, there are plenty of other ways we could customize this upload widget. If we wanted to, we could change the sources so that a user can only upload locally via a URL or via Unsplash. And this is what the upload widget would look like. Be sure to check out the docs for more options and examples. In the next video, we're going to learn how to improve the performance of our Next.js application by optimizing and transforming images using Next Cloudinary.